When one first thinks about Call of Duty Mobile, they may think of a very polished game. A game that has no glitches, or no secret locations, no ways to get outside of the map. However, if you're anyone like me, you like to put that to the test. And I have put that to the test, and I can tell you from first-hand experience that's not true at all. Call of Duty Mobile is pretty broken in a lot of different aspects, and I'm not gonna lie, I love finding glitches in secret locations in mobile games. Ever since the beginning of my YouTube channel, I've posted out-of-the-map glitch tutorials for various different video games, and Call of Duty Mobile is no exception. I have found some absolutely insane secret locations and glitches, and I thought it would be pretty cool to show them to you all in today's video. Today's video, we will be going over 10 secret locations you probably don't know about in Call of Duty Mobile. Now, I'm not gonna lie, there may be a couple that you already knew about, and that's okay. My main point of this video is if you learned at least a couple of new things, then I think it's a successful video. And hey, if you did learn anything new and you thought this was a well-made video, then I would greatly appreciate it if you took just a second, left a like rating, and subscribed to my channel for lots more Call of Duty Mobile content just like this coming out very, very soon. Before we actually get into the number 10 secret location, I want to say that you should not use any of these to exploit other players. You should go into private matches with your friends and just test these out for fun, just to see what a map looks like from the outside, for example, and not use this to your advantage because you will get banned if you do that in a multiplayer match. Don't run the risk, just play with your friends, have fun, and you'll be okay. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, here are 10 secret locations in Call of Duty Mobile that you probably don't know about. Let's get into this. All right, guys, so starting things off here, I thought I'd show you one of the simpler secret locations of this video. It made sense to me to show you cooler and cooler ones as this video progresses. This one is probably one of the most well-known secret locations in Summit, and it's going to involve us jumping from that little spot on the computers toward this ledge right here, which is a pretty cool spot in and of itself and is actually quite useful, but we're going to jump toward that antenna tower. You're going to need a melee weapon that's going to make you run a little bit faster in order to make that jump, but once you're here, it's a really great spot. A lot of people already know about it, but for whatever reason, people still don't check this area. So they come down that walkway and you can get a really good kill streak before people start to realize that you're there. I would highly recommend trying it out because it is very simple easier than pretty much any of the other ones that I mentioned in this video, and you will get good gameplay if you end up going over here. Continuing on, the second secret location is actually in the brand new game mode, Prop Hunt. This is the most OP secret location that you can find in Raid. I absolutely love it. You're going to basically need one of the smaller objects when you spawn in, and you're going to basically jump and then lock behind the television screen as I have done right here. I mean, you can see from the background, people are clueless. They have no idea where I am. I am whistling and they hear that noise, but they would never check behind the television screen. They think it's that plant that's over there, for example. They never would expect you to be hiding right behind the television screen. As long as you have a small enough object, you are completely invisible and there is a very, very good chance that you're going to go through the entire length of the match perfectly fine and even if your whole rest of your team dies, you're going to be able to win as I have done right here. It's awesome. Moving along though, this one is a little weird and it's something that is very difficult to do. A lot of times I'm not able to and I think after the most recent patch, it is even more difficult. In Crossfire, you're going to go to that ladder right there and you're going to place a shield right at the edge of the ladder, right? Then you're gonna go back outside and then climb back up the ladder. And if you can do it right, again, as I said, after the most recent patch, it is unbelievably difficult to do. You can actually get yourself up on top of the roof of Crossfire and on top of the map. A lot of times you're gonna get stuck inside the wall as I've done right here. And your only hope is to basically have somebody shoot you. So it kind of sucks. But if you can do it right, it's going to look something like this. You can actually get yourself up on top of the roof. And if that's not one of the coolest things ever, I, I really don't know what is. Moving along, though, the fourth secret location is going to get us on top of the map firing range right there. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it, but you are going to need the gravity spikes. So you're going to climb up this big ladder that's right here in the center of the map, and you're going to run and jump. Use your gravity spikes! 
And, okay, yeah, it's pretty difficult, might I add. Let's try that again. Use your gravity spikes, aim just at the right spot, quickly, quickly get inside the zone before the warning kills you, and you're now here on top of firing range. Now, obviously, you're very, very noticeable when you're up here, so you can kill a few people before people end up finding you, but, I mean, hey, once you're up here, you can get a decent amount of kills before people even realize you're all the way up on top of the map. You can get a great vantage point over everybody else. Pretty much over, I'd say, at least 60% of the map. It is a really, really good vantage point and probably the best sniping place in all of firing range. And I'd say that's saying a lot. The fifth secret location of this video is going to show you all another prop hunt secret location. I showed a couple in this video, and this is the second to last one. You're going to follow as I have done right here. It's actually pretty difficult because it's right back where the regular players spawn, okay? So you need to do some pretty evasive maneuvers or just be lucky and get into a, a match where there's like really newbie players, right? And you need to go all the way to the very, very back where they spawn, okay? Make sure that there are no enemies because you don't want them to see you. And for whatever reason, the TV right here in the very corner isn't textured. So you can actually hide right inside the television. You're completely invisible. No one's going to suspect that you're there because, I mean, why would you be all the way back where they spawned? And a good chance is you're gonna go through the entire match perfectly fine. No one's gonna find you. You're gonna win a very easy match in prop hunts. I, I love this secret location. You gotta try it out, guys. All right, but hey, here we are now. I wanna show you all a really, really cool glitch in Hijacked. As I said in the beginning of the video, this is one of those ones that you do not want to do in a multiplayer match because you will get banned if you do this, okay? In a private server, you're going to take out your shield and right at the top of those stairs right there, you are going to place the shield and do very similar to what we did in the crossfire glitch, okay? And this one's kind of weird because you can actually glitch entirely through the wall, but if you move around too much, you're going to end up, for whatever reason, going right back outside. And I, I don't understand why this happens, but it does. However, it's not really that big of a deal. All you need to do is go back inside and you're now glitched inside of Hijacked. Now, it's really nice because, you know, even if you were in a multiplayer match, you can't actually shoot through the boat. So it's not really going to be super OP. It's just a really cool thing to see. I mean, the inner workings of Hijacked. I, I really like it. Remember the one I just showed you a couple of minutes ago in firing range where it was really cool. You're way up on top of the map, but you are very visible. Well, we're going to do the same thing in Crash. You see all these telephone poles and we're going to basically get right up on top of this telephone pole right here. Not too difficult, but it will take a little bit of practice until you can do this consistently. Again, you are going to need your gravity spikes in order to do this. So that is something to keep in mind. You're going to get up all the way on the top right here. And once you do the jump right, you're going to follow exactly what I do, land on top of that ledge, and this is where the difficult spot is. You're going to use your gravity spikes, but don't go too far to where you fall back off the edge of the telephone pole. You need to do it just right so you land on the pole, and now you're right here. I mean, it's a great vantage point, don't get me wrong, but it is very, very easy to be spotted when you're all the way up here. So keep that in mind, right? You can get a decent kill streak for a short period of time, but I would recommend afterward leaving so you don't end up getting killed by somebody who inevitably finds you. However, as you can see here, I'm a basketball. This is the final prop hunt secret location, and it's very similar to the last one. However, it's even better because it's with a basketball, and you can actually use the lock button, like sort of abusing it here in prop hunt. Um, this is extremely difficult to do. It's very difficult to jump your way up on top of this telephone pole, but once you do, I mean, already it's very hard to spot a basketball up there. You can abuse the, block, the lock button and then lock yourself very quickly, as I'm doing right here, and then direct yourself into that tree. Now tell me this. I mean, who's going to check the tree and who's going to suspect a basketball there? No one. So you're basically set. If you can get here and no one sees you get here, then you're basically going to win. It's the most OP secret location in all of prop hunts. But I would go as far to say this one is even better. This is a way to get on the top of hijacked, okay? I mean, we see the boats all the time, and we always want to go on the upper levels, but we can't. We always think where I am right here is the only spot you can get to. 
However, if you use your gravity spikes, as I have done right here, there is an invisible roof that you can actually gravity spike your way onto. And now, if you're very precarious and you follow in the same area that I am doing, you can run along the edge of the boat and then you can actually get onto the higher levels of the boats. Now, it isn't, you know, you can't go all over the entire boat because there is an invisible wall right there, but you can get to this spot right here. You can lie down. It's a fantastic sniping spot, might I add. I mean, dude, this is one of the coolest secret locations in this entire game. I absolutely love it. And <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. There's only one other one that's better than this, and it's this one right here. It's very similar to the last one, but we're actually going to do it on Cage. Cage is one of the newer maps in Call of Duty Mobile, and you're going to need a friend to place a shield down for you, okay? Or you can do it with yourself. It's probably easier to do with a friend, though, because you can actually kill your friend to use an airdrop that's going to assist with a later parts of this. So you're going to probably need two people in order to do this so you can get that six kill streak to get that airdrop. Basically follow what I did right there, but right here you need to be very careful and get yourself up on top of this beam before the warning and out of zone message kills you, okay? It's not too difficult after you get the hang of it, but you have to follow what I did, get up on top of the shield, jump over to that section, run up the beam diagonally, and then get to the spot that I am right here. Then you can run and jump and land on top of invisible roofs, and this is pretty cool in and of itself, but you can then run all around all of the invisible roofs, but you sometimes might mess up as I had done right there. If you want to limit this, you can actually use the airdrop to actually tell you where the invisible roofs are, okay? The blue indicates that's where the roof is. I can walk all the way up to right there, but it drops off very quickly, but there's a roof over there. So all I need to do is run and jump and then land where the other blue marker indicated where there is an invisible roof. And then I can actually want run all around the entire map on the top of it without having to worry about falling down. It's really cool. And by the way, I, I keep calling it an airdrop. That's just what I call it. It's not that. It's like the supply crate, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is probably one of the coolest secret locations in this entire game. And <laughs> you can even get the supply crates to land on top of the roof. I don't even know what to tell you. It's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in this entire game. And I really, really hope you all enjoyed. And with that fantastic secret location rounding up this list, we have finished with today's video. I really hope you all did enjoy this top 10 secret locations video for Call of Duty Mobile. Again, new secret locations are always being found in games like this, so if you guys would like me to do another part to this little mini-series of secret locations that I have done in Call of Duty Mobile, then let me know with a comment and leave a like on this video. If we get a lot of support, then I can definitely do another one of these videos in the coming months when more secret locations are found. If you wanted to check out how broken the game was a few months ago, then I'll have a video linked down below in the description. A lot of the secret locations mentioned in that video don't work anymore, but it's still cool to see just how broken Call of Duty Mobile used to be. Check it out, guys. But with that being said, we're out of time. Thank you so much for staying until the end. Hope you all did enjoy, and I will see you all later.